Hi, I'm Justin Cook, School Board Director, Position 2. During the School Board Study Session on January 24th, the Board reviewed the District's Long-Term Facility Maintenance Plan, which projects all major facilities maintenance projects planned at the District's 34 buildings, a total of 3,430,000 some square feet of space. The plan addresses aspects of the district's buildings that decrade or deteriorate over time and keep the district's building space operating safely and efficiently. Part of this long-term planning includes planning for a complementary levy structure to provide the resources necessary to implement the plan while keeping the impact on local property taxes stable over the next 10 years and avoiding significant increases from year to year. However, partly due to inflation and construction costs, the actual costs for indoor air quality projects in the coming years at Edison and Kellogg Middle School in particular will be significantly greater than the amount that was planned uh, in the long-term facility maintenance plan. The indoor air quality project at Kellogg is estimated at over $40 million, and the district leadership recommends prioritizing the Kellogg project for completion during the 2024-25 school year by deferring maintenance projects at Edison and Friedel, in part because the long-term future and uses of those buildings is less certain than the district's traditional school buildings. The district also recommended using remaining funds from the 2018 building referendum to provide security upgrades across the district's buildings, specifically to prioritize upgrades to secured entries, security cameras, and distributed antenna systems in that order. District leadership also briefed the board on the district's five-year financial forecast and the assumptions that are used to build the forecast, which include enrollment projections, staffing levels, inflationary increases in staff compensation, utilities, and other expenses. In general, the forecast shows that without modifications to the district's revenues or programming, the district's expenses would significantly exceed its revenues with a nearly $14 million deficit projected for fiscal year 24. And the extent of the deficit is projected to grow over time without some structural modifications. This led the superintendent to recommend to the board a set of budget reductions. The board discussed the superintendent's proposed budget reductions, which totaled $14 million for fiscal year 24. They would be achieved through a combination of approximately 5% reductions in costs um, and the reduction of certain staff positions across the district's work units. The board will vote on the superintendent's recommendation at its February 7th meeting. Tune in.